Hi, I'm Paul Atoll from PaulAtoll.com and PortyKid.com. And in this uh, quick video tutorial, I'm going to show you an updated um, version of the installation, basic installation, of our GOG.com game, which are plenty in the Porting Kit. And um, because of a recent change in uh, the game library of Porting Kit, of, uh, of GOG.com, um, yeah, it, uh, it brings some confusion in the basic installation. So, um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go quickly through the basics because um, I already assume you have downloaded the porting kit and uh, opened it already. Uh, this is our basic instruction, which you can uh, see in another video. But this video will be particular with the installation of uh, GOG.com games. So I go quickly to, uh, to the porting kit. Here we are. So this is the porting kit uh, library. I'm on the server tab at the moment and uh, we're quickly going to search for, for example, Banished. So I want to install Banished in this tutorial. So what I'm going to click is I click on install. And if I say install now, it will say here, important warning, because we need to download the offline backup game installer file. Okay, this is new. Well, it's not new, but uh, it's new on GOG.com uh, recently. So I will go first to the GOG.com game library. If I don't own the game yet, then um, you can click on the uh, links here. Also read the the notes in the game description where it says to download the 32-bit version of the game. So we have to keep that in mind. So if we go to the link here, if you don't own it yet, you can purchase it. But if you already have it in your uh, database, go to your games. And then um, search your specific game. Well, Venice is already here. So instead of downloading the blue button here to download and install it already says here it is the GOG Galaxy which is the wrong version um, if you open it for the first time you will see this it says download offline backup game installer you will recognize it from the uh, win window you saw a moment ago from porting kit that you have to download this specific offline backup setup file. In this case, in this particular game, it's said in the notes to use the 32-bit version. So click on it to download it. I already have it downloaded as you can see here, but it will automatically download it to the download folder and that's specifically the place where you need to have it because porting kit will automatically recognize the setup file from the download folder. So. If you download a 32-bit version for this uh, particular, uh, particular game, then we are done here. Then we go back to Porting Kit and we click on Install. And there you can click on Install Now. And there we say you can, sure, we've downloaded the correct installer because we downloaded the specific uh, setup file from the offline backup game installer expansion uh, window. So we click Sure, I've downloaded it. You get this um, introduction, this wizard, click on next, I accept. It will then start to um, do the specifically uh, steps. You don't have to change the location. It needs to be just next, next, and then finish. Well, from now on, it will uh, it will install the, the specific things. It will create the wine prefix. It will install the, the specific wine tricks. And then uh, it will, at the end, search for the setup file into in your download folder, which it of course will find. If you have downloaded the uh, GOG Galaxy file, uh, the installation will fail at the end. So that's why it's so important to uh, download the uh, offline backup setup file. Well, we're going to speed this uh, a little bit up. Just to uh, the download and the installation because uh, this will take a minute and because this is only uh, a video for a tutorial um, we will keep it as short as possible
There the setup file is detected as you can see. You click OK. 32 bit. Click on the select box, click install. Which is very important is that you always exit the game properly and not clicking on launch. So always click exit. Because the reason is is that uh, in some cases Pornikit needs to do some extra um, uh, installs or setups uh, and if the game already starts in the whole process this this is not good for the total process so click exit the installation will be uh, finished properly it says here successful click on close and there we go and then you can click on exit and you can play the game and this will video options let's go just normal here right play I'll play it windowed here and here we are and we can click click on the game click on a new game click on ok there we go Whatever. All right. Um, you know the drill. Exit. Thank you for watching, and uh, spread the word. And see you back on Portal Car. Bye bye.